In this how to we are going to learn how to select multiple records from the grid view and persist the selection during pagination. It means that what we will do is that we will create a grid view and that grid view will have pagination so that user will be able to navigate from one page to another page and if, on top of that we will maintain the uh, selection also for example if on the in the first page user has selected three records and then he is going to the uh, to the next page he is uh, selecting one record when he is coming back again then those three, those three records should should be still selected so in this way uh, we, we are trying to see in this how to that how to maintain or how to persist the selection of the grid view across different pages of the, of the grid view so uh, let us see uh, this so let me create one ASPX page and we will keep a uh, grid view on this page to demonstrate to demonstrate this so here is my ASPX page and uh, hold on please hold on let me copy it here is my ASPX page and this is the code of the grid view I am going to explain everything what is in inside this code So in this code what we have is that we have a simple grid view and we have written auto generated columns equal to false because I am going to explicitly write my columns that should appear in the grid view and we have written allow paging equal to true so that pagination will come and then we have written data key names naturally auto id and on page index changing we are uh, calling paginate the data method so that the pagination will happen we are also writing enable persistent uh, selection equal to true there is no need of it because i am going to use the checkbox here uh, to select the uh, row of the grid view and then and then we have written pager uh, setting dash mode is equal to numeric and on row data bound we have uh, a, uh, a specified reselect selected records server side method i am going to show you this also and, uh, and then we have explicitly written the column naturally the first column is the checkbox that will basically help the user to select the record uh, of the grid view and then we have bound field for auto id first name last time and is active the same field that we had seen in the last how to and we have uh, uh, one button called get selected records and that will basically execute get selected records uh, server side method now let us see the code behind or you can just say server side code so in the server side code we have uh, this much of code let me just first copy paste it and then I will explain it in detail and uh, we are here it is little more code so I am going to explain each in every line of code here so even if you are not understanding right now do not worry about it ok now let me correct all these codes from here okay this looks fine this looks fine here is the problem okay okay and this is also okay fine looks like we are done so this is done this is done this is done and this is done and this is also done now let me align the code so that it will look nice and easily readable okay now let us understand the, the uh, server side code from the top first naturally we have a database connection string coming in from the web.config file and it is being stored into an underscore con str page level variable and if this page will be requested for the first time then naturally it will not be each post back then we are calling get data method and in this get data method what we are doing is that we are uh, instancing the inst instantiating the SQL connection object by uh, uh, passing the con database connection string as the parameter and then we have SQL statements in the real time you can use the stored post that uh, the way I had explained in the earlier videos and it is basically getting the records from the personal detail table instantiating the SQL command by passing the SQL uh, to uh, uh, execute and the database connection and then instantiating the SQL adapter by passing the SQL command object and then we are filling uh, the records that will 
come through this selected statement to the data table and that data table is being populated into the grid view and ultimately we are calling the data bind method of the grid view that will basically bind the data to the grid view fine so uh, we, we are here now let me run this page and show you how it is looking like so this is my page and you can see that in this uh, we will have the grid view uh, data listed here in the tabular format you can see that grid view data is listed and because we had written um, uh, all our paging equal to true uh, so what is happening is and, and the page size was 5 so in, in one page we are seeing 5 records only now on page index changing this paginate the data method is firing so let me go ahead and show you the paginate uh, the data method now in this paginate the data method what we are doing is that we have uh, instantiated one generic list collection of integer type and first we are uh, checking for the view state of the selected records if view state of selected records is not null then what we are doing is that we are unboxing the view state data to the generic list collection this in of, of the integer type that we had instantiated here and then what we are doing is that we are uh, uh, looping through all the rows of the gate view and we are finding out the checkbox it means that this checkbox if this checkbox is uh, is checked then what we are doing is that we are checking in this list collection if this list contains the selected key the selected key is nothing but the primary key of uh, of the of that particular row where we are checking the checkbox and that we are getting using grid view one dot data keys of row dot index dot value and if that checkbox is checked and this selected key doesn't exist then i am adding into this list and if the checkbox is not checked then what we are doing is that we are checking if the selected key exists into the list if it is exist then just remove it because there might be possibility that in the first page we have selected third and the fifth record when we are get, get, going to the second page what we are doing is that uh, we are selecting some records and again coming to the first page and now I don't want to select the fifth record then in that case what will happen is because I have, I have unchecked the checkbox so, so that particular fifth record should not get selected so that's why it will come into the else block and if user has already selected that particular record then it will basically remove it uh, from here so that's why you can see that now I have removed the, I have unchecked the fifth record now when I will move to the second page and when I will again come to the first page you will see that the fifth record had not been selected now so that's what is happening uh, so, so this is basically just making sure that uh, um, if the checkbox has been selected, uh, selected then that particular uh, selected key will be added into the list if it has not been selected then that will be removed from the list and ultimately uh, once my list is completely formed then we are storing that particular list generic list collection into the view state of selected records and uh, naturally uh, uh, this uh, uh, because we are doing pagination so uh, so we are uh, setting the page index of the grid view to the uh, grid view page event arguments dot new page index and then we are again binding the data so this is basically a normal pagin uh, pagination method but apart from that uh, here from this to this line we are just making sure that whatever record has been uh, selected as uh, uh, the checkbox that is getting saved into the genic list collection and that uh, collection is ultimately being saved into the view state and uh, when the, the record will be bounded so for example now I am in the page 2 because I have clicked page 2 so when the record will be bounded then naturally this event will fire on row data bound will fire and on row data bound what it will do is that it will first check for the uh, view state of selected record and it will just uh, keep it into the generic list collection and then it will check if the row that is being bounded is of data, data control row type dot data row and list is not null means it has not been loaded for the first time then it will try to retrieve the value of this uh, uh, that particular row and it will check if that particular value means the selected key or the auto key is into the list then simply find out the checkbox and check it so that's how we are persisting the selection of the checkboxes into the grid view in different pages you can see here now when I will 
go to for example let me select 30 uh, uh, auto id 30 equal to uh, also now when i will go to the page number you will see that let me just uh, remove the bookmark now let me select fifth, uh, 5 and 6 as well now when i will go to the second play, uh, uh, page you will notice that my record number 30 has is also get selected so i am able to just maintain the uh, uh, selection of the user uh, throughout the pages of the grid view you can see this now once uh, my record has been select, uh, s uh, selected and I'm done I can click on the get selected records method and get selected records method what basically it does is that it fires this method this uh, get selected records uh, server side event and it will first retrieve the view state of the selected records and uh, unbox into the uh, uh, generic list collection of integer type and it will just loop through all the, the the values of the list and it will write on the page so that's what it will do let me just click this button you can see that 23 22 35 6 all the records that has been selected is being written on the page so this is the way to basically maintain uh, the the user selection uh, throughout the uh, different pages of the gate view.